All right, welcome to iPad tutorial number three. This tutorial is going to be a bit long because it's got a lot of parts. But I want to start off with you're doing research on the internet. So you're on Safari. And let's say you're finding information on salmon. So you might have gone to my salmon websites the ones that I have for you to research, or you might be searching for your own. Um, of course, doing a Google search, you can find some sites with some great information. And if you need more specific information, what you type here is going to make what comes up here in your search much more relevant to what you want. You'll find the information you need. Sometimes you just need to read to figure out, well, what information do I want? I don't really know anything. But let's say you're at the point where you've done some great research, you've got some information, and now you want pictures for your blog. Well, if you just do an image search, you're going to get pictures that may be copyrighted um, or not, and you're not sure until you go to the website, then you have to email the author. And believe me, you can do that. But if you want to find an image that is uh, available for use without having to ask permission, you have to do an advanced search. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, and I'm going to view Google in classic mode, because the tablet mode, I couldn't see where to do an advanced search. But when I put it in this mode, right under search, there's advanced. Now, there's a lot of things you can do here to find specific pictures. But what I'm going to show you is the usage rights. So right now, this is searching for all images, regardless of whether they're licensed by copyright that you can't use or that you have to pay for, even worse, if you have to pay for it or that you have to ask permission. But if you select right under it, this says it's only going to show you only images labeled for reuse. That means they are pictures you can use on your blog. And conditions might apply. It's the Creative Commons conditions. You might have to attribute it back to the author by leaving them um, a link. So once you do that, go ahead and search again. And you might find different images because these are ones that you can use. Now some of these, if you want salmon, you may not want the cooked salmon food. Um, you may be looking for salmon that's tribal. Or you may be looking for a nice picture of an actual fish. Let's see here if they got something good. Uh, maybe you're looking for a specific uh, cycle in, in the life cycle of the salmon. Of course, this one, it's dead. Um, so let's say we're doing a spawner. We might use that. But let's see here. Wow, this sure is a lot of food here. I'm going to go back up here and go with, see what this one looks like. The salmon was on the south bank of the Altmore Burn. It looks pretty dead. Let's say that's the one I want to use. You click on it. Now, it's pretty gory, huh? It's cool. I want to use that. I'm going to go to full size image. Now you see how I've got just the image on my page? Well, two things I can do. If I highlight here and copy, so I, I, I push down and when it became a magnifying glass I let go and it gives me some choices. I can select, I can select all, or I can paste. I'm going to select all. It selects everything. Now look what I can do. I can cut, copy, or paste. I'm going to copy. Now I've got the actual link that goes to this picture. What that does is, you can put that link on your blog, and I'll show you that on a later tutorial, and it'll show up on your blog, and you didn't have to download the picture or put it on a server or anything. It's already on their server. And then you just give a link back to the website. Uh, but let's say you actually want the picture on this iPad. If you hold down on the picture, look what you can do. Don't copy it, save the image, and it saves it to the photos. So I'm going to go back here, click on website for this image. You might want to bookmark this website because, again, if you're going to give these people credit because you use their image, 
um, then you're gonna go to bookmarks and actually not that one go right here to add bookmark and then if that name works you may not remember what that is so I'm gonna change it geograph but there we go female salmon part eaten excellent save that bookmark so when I come back the next day when I'm ready to use it or later um, I'll have that there well that concludes the first part of this tutorial